fractions. So what you do is you multiply the numerators together and the denominators together, but before you do that, you want to look for common factors. So I'm looking for any common factor in the numerator with any common factor in the denominator. Well, 6 goes does not go evenly into 15, but 6 and 15 have a common factor of 3. So I'm going to divide 6 by 3, and I'm going to divide 15 by 3, and that's going to give me a 2 in the numerator and a 5 in the denominator. Now, I have no other common factor, so let's multiply across. 2 times 1 is 2, so you multiply the numerator together and multiply the new denominator together, 5 times 13 gives me, what, 65? So 2 65ths is my final answer. Okay, let's try another one like that that have some common factors. Okay, let's look at anything in the numerator that has a common denominator or a common factor with the denominator. Okay, if you'll notice 7 and 35, wow, 7 goes into itself and 7 goes into 35. So I can divide 7 by itself and get a 1, and I can take 35 and divide it by 7, and I can get a 5. Now 12 and 18, hmm, they don't, one doesn't go into the other, but they do have a common factor of 6. So let's take a 6 out of here, and that gives us 2, and a 6 out of here, and that gives us 3. Okay, so what do we have left to multiply together? Let's see, 2 times 5 is 10, and 1 times 3 is 3, so my answer is 10 thirds. Now if you're supposed to write that as a proper fraction, you take 10 and you divide it by 3, so 3 goes into 10 3 times, that gives me 9, subtract, so that's 3 whole numbers and 1 third as my remainder, and there we go, so that's 3 and 1 third. So that's how you reduce or multiply and reduce fractions.